I mean, this could go one or two ways. She could become an entitled, spoiled brat, or she could be the type of girl who isn't an entitled, spoiled brat. She actually appreciates the things of life and the stuff that her parents was able to afford her. So when a man comes around, she knows what a real man looks like. She knows what a productive man looks like, a respectful man looks like. I understand that. But at the same time, we've all come across one of them women who daddy showed them everything, took them to the Eiffel Tower. They went and played in the black sand. They was in the dead sea floating because the buoyancy of the water is just different than any other type of body of water like i've met women like that they're not a pleasant they're not pleasant to be around and they're damn sure not great to date because the expectations is so high the bar has been set so high and let's be real most of us can't do that or don't even really want to do that honestly which brings me to another point somebody in the comments said yeah that's right king do that so my prince don't have to do it for some of y'all is crazy bro what i gotta do with you though i got two kids come on now dog come on man okay and no one's supporting me so what, what can you do for me that's your personal problem what they gotta do with me are you applying pressure or not what is applying pressure to you supporting money ubers I need, <laughs> I need someone who can support me find your baby dad then <laughs> you got the, the lambo truck but can't support somebody can't spend money i can support me but you might need to go to work i money. do work so what you asking me for money for if you got a job that's the extra support I'm smiling, but it ain't funny. I'm smiling, but it ain't funny. What you bring to the table for a man? Mentos, the fresh maker. Oh, but now I see what you about. Now I can care less about getting to know you. Well, you got all of this stuff. Why can't you support me and my kids? I literally just met you on the street just now. You got nice stuff. Look, you could afford it. You need to work hard so you can afford it. How old is you? 23. 23. 23, single mom, two kids. Definitely not my caliber of woman that I'm chasing right now. So why is supporting somebody a problem? I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I don't know you. I don't know gold diggers. You can just get the out. Crazy, man. I thought she was going to be a nice girl for real. What's your bank account? Yep, yeah, this woman right here is an energy vampire, a resource vampire, a time vampire, a respect vampire. Bro, she has nothing to offer you at all and then even just because she has kids man the type of woman that she is she's a low caliber low vibrational creature it is what it is man you can't do nothing for me you got this nice pretty lamborghini and you can't support me and my kids girl forget you and them kids man what is wrong with these women dog like ma'am ain't no way ain't no way you think you finna get a free ride man my biological father according to his cousins and family members that i recently because i never grew up with him but they said that he had a sign in his car he had a cutlass and they said the sign said gas grass or ass nobody rides free i thought that was the most gangster shit i ever heard in my life bro i'm not gonna hold you they said my daddy said that my biological father right and that's a damn good model man i might have to put that on a damn shirt okay so my dating life is literally so ghetto that it's starting to be kind of amazing it's so ghetto so let me tell y'all what happened this time so i went on a date with the guy we had a good time he took me bowling then after bowling since we were vibing he took me to a little after hour spot to get drinks we had fun it was a great time later on that week he asked me if he could see me again and um he i was like you know what do you have in mind sure you know i like you i had a good time what do you have in mind he was like same spot bowling like you wanted to take me bowling again now normally the people pleaser in me would not have said anything i would have went on that day but i'm in a place in my life where i'm learning it is okay to say no it's okay to politely decline you know it's not that i don't like you i just don't want to do that again if you're asking right so i was honest with him and i said you know i had fun but i don't really want to go bowling again I didn't hear anything from him for the rest of the day. I waited a whole nother day, still didn't hear anything. And so I blocked him, right? That shit, that doesn't work for me. That type of communication doesn't work for me. I like clear, straightforward, honest communication. Nobody is that busy, right? I know for me, if I'm doing you like that, if it takes days at a time for me to respond, it's because I'm not really that interested and I'm not that excited about getting to know you, right? So I hold everybody else to that standard. Long story short, I go on my social media and I post it about it, right? I'm talking about setting boundaries how this guy wanted to take me on a date to the same place i didn't really like that when i told him i didn't like it he left me on scene he i he opened the message he left me on scene didn't reply for more than 24 hours so i blocked him and people were like dragging me they were oh this is why women are single you gonna be single all your life this is why you ain't got no man now and that was harsh somebody was calling me crazy and angry and they were like that's childish they were really trying to bully and drag me for saying i blocked a man 
for not responding for a day. But I was like, that doesn't work for me. If your standards are okay with somebody taking more than 24 hours to respond to a text, that's you. But that's not me. It does not work for me, right? But they were dragging me, right? Tell me why. This is where it gets ghetto. I was checking my message requests on Instagram. And I see that the same night of that date, somebody has called me like 20 times at 2 a.m. And I go look at the profile and it's a club promoter, right? So I reach out and I'm like, you know, I'm sorry these messages were in spam. Is there something I can help you with? Because why is the ATL club promoter reaching out to me, right? And they were like, oh, no, I was at that spot you were at and... Uh, the waitress was looking for you. This is the club promoter who was promoting the party at the place we were at, right? And I was like, the waitress was looking for me. What do you mean? Why was the waitress looking for me, right? Y'all, tell me why that man had ran out on that bill. He did not pay the bill. He ran out on the bill. And this is why, y'all, this is why I'm so glad I trust my gut, even though that is not the reason I cut ties with him. But, dude, you clearly a thief. You clearly a thief. Not only was I suspicious, like, why do you want to take me bowling again? We just did that. Even if it was fun, why do you want to do that again? But I'm starting to feel like maybe you even had some type of hook up there. Like, I feel like me feeling weird about it there was a reason and clearly this is why like i feel like for one you're just a thief you're a thief i'm not gonna say you're broke but bro i had two glasses of simple house chardonnay who runs out on that you peasant i didn't even get the top shelf stuff and furthermore the fact that you didn't even communicate that to me that could have been potentially dangerous like people do not play about their money they do not play about their business and you are putting me in a spot where i look bad and i look like a thief and that could have put me in harm's way because you never know how somebody's gonna react to that especially with them calling me and finding my social media that makes me so uncomfortable comfortable and i'm super embarrassed because you're gonna have somebody dragging me like i'm running off on bills out here and stuff i said all that to say the lesson i learned in this case is always trust your gut even when it doesn't make sense to other people like i said people were dragging me calling me childish and bitter and angry and that's why i'm by myself i trusted my gut and i'm glad i did because there were red flags that i didn't even know about <sighs> fellas this one crazy man you know at the same time i was kind of taken aback when she denied the date to go bowling which is you know i guess understandable it does show that he ain't giving a fuck he ain't putting up a whole lot of effort but it's bowling that's not the cheapest thing to do in the world right you gotta you know get drinks you're gonna get food you gotta rent the damn shoes it's, it's nice chunk of change you're gonna spend on a bowling outing right but he invited her out to do that twice <sighs> I'm torn about that one i mean maybe y'all had such a good time he said shit let's reinvent this <sighs> but the running out on the bill definitely some bum shit uh the people contacting her bro y'all really rocking like this man i understand a lot of y'all don't feel like y'all gotta spend no money i feel that i feel like okay your game that tight but for those of us who have to go on dates and stuff like that bro why is you going on dates running out on the bill bro like if she invites you out she's supposed to pay straight like that i get it but if you invite her out and you ain't got no money what the hell are you doing with life you shouldn't even be dating man go get some goddamn money that's what i would tell my son to do that's what i'm gonna tell my little brother to do that's what i'm gonna tell my little partner my little co-worker anybody who would listen to me i was like bro you don't even, you ain't in no position to be pursuing no woman if it ain't a lay down low hanging fruit fall in your lap type of situation you should not be actively pursuing these women while your pocket's not right all right, I hope y'all enjoyed everything. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned something. Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the outro. How can I take that? I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero. I can't, I can't say these hoes. Real player like these rose. This bitch crazy. Here we go. Blowing up my phone. Burned up all my clothes Man, I'm sick of these hoes I can't take no more I can't take that We go way back Like a 8 track I'm fresh like Ajax And that's straight facts Get your cake wax Make my little hoe come and slide it like a 8 max This bitch crazy went through my phone She swear to God I'm doing wrong I told the bitch just leave me alone I'm probably better off